Welcome to my podcast. My name is Moya Navoa. I interviewed John Landau, producer of Avatar, whom I had previously interviewed several years ago and had the advantage of interviewing him once again in regards to the film Avatar and art and technology. Mr. Landau, as a film producer of Avatar, what do you see as the role of the visual arts in our mass-mediated world and particularly in your profession? I think one of the really exciting things about films is that uh, you know, the artist can really inform also the storytelling. What, what is possible? How do you utilize things? Um, you know, so we, had a, we had a situation where a, a bit of action came out of an art department development where they developed something, did a painting of something and inspired Jim to, to alter the action a little bit. So it's an iterative process. With new communications and media technologies, imagery is almost instantly available. Do you believe that this is having a positive or negative influence on the industry? Well, I think 3D is the future in all media. I think that all of our screens, from our handheld devices to our computer screens to our home televisions to in theater, is going to be 3D. I think it's only natural. We see life in 3D. 3D is more immersive, it's more engaging, and I actually believe that the brain actually retains more of that experience. Now with digital technology, we're able to do high quality 3D. What popular images do you see that are frequently rechanneled throughout the entertainment industry? Here, you know, the digital 3D, you know, really looks great. I think that what we would like to see in terms of presentation improvements in terms of the in theater experience, we'd like to go up in frame rate. You know, right now we're at 24 frames per second. If you think about that, that's inferior to what you get at television. Television right now is at 30 frames per second. 24 frames per second is just not enough for what the human eye sees. There's artifacting, there's strobing, there's other things like that. The digital projection also affords the opportunity with these same projectors that are being installed right now to go to 48 frames per second or even 60 frames per second. Are there particular images that this industry has popularized and or created? Well, I, I think what we did with Avatar is that we took characters that were CGI and brought them to life where they were engaging and emotional. But I think that's a combination of crafts. And I think that really at the heart of what we were doing was the acting. It was important for us to preserve the acting. We needed great animators to preserve that. And we needed great CG artists to build the models. It's interesting that the, the birthing process of our characters took nine months, just like a real child would take to develop the characters. That's how long it took to build the rigs and the muscles and everything. So take your time. And, and remember, what you're trying to do is, no matter what characters you design, is evoke human relatable emotions. Mr. Landau, who is one of your favorite visual artists and or what is your favorite style of visual art? I think the, the key is, you know, no matter what craft you come out of and what craft you study, if you're looking to develop a script, I tell people to look for stories that have themes that are bigger than their genre. People leave the theater with the theme of a movie and they leave the plot at the theater. How has your knowledge of famous artworks influenced your creative process? You know, I, I think the one thing that I would say is, you know, it, it's great to learn the craft, but the craft only services story. And always keep that in mind in, in whatever you're doing. And we've been very lucky to have artists that have come out of schools like your school and, uh, you know, really going into a, a new arena, but they never lost sight of what they were there doing was, was servicing the story. And I think that's the most important thing to remember. My thanks to Mr. Landau for the interview. I hope you enjoyed this inspired podcast. My name is Mario Novoa. Thank you.